Hi everybody and welcome back to another daily dose of Jace tutorials. So today we are going to set up our mirror box capture card. So in order to do that, uh, let's begin with the setup. What you're going to need is your mirror box capture card itself. It has two front ports, nothing in the back. So let me show you guys there. Pretty easy, a USB 3.0 and a HDMI in. So you're going to need your HDMI cable and then you are going to need your USB 3.0. So the unit did come with the USB 3.0. So we are going to plug it into this tower. This is the unit that we're going to use to record. So the black computers, uh, the tower we're using to record and the laptop itself is the screen that we're going to be recording. So it has an HDMI out. So you have to download the OBS studio. So I'm downloading this to my tower PC. So this computer will do the recording. So what's great about this is that uh, it is compatible with Linux, Windows, and Mac. It even has a 32-bit version. So that is pretty nice. I like the compatibility that the OBS Studio offers. So once you have it installed, we are going to plug in our device. So I'm plugging in the USB 3.0. So yeah, it did come with the USB 3.0. Um, it did not come with the HDMI cable. So I'm plugging that in. You can get the red light. So plugging into the tower PC or our recorder. And then we have our HDMI cable, which I'm going to plug into the HDMI out of the laptop. So once again, we are going to be recording the laptop screen. So it's fairly easy. Once you are ready to go, all we got to do is go back to our tower PC and open up our software. OBS Studio right here. Basically what we are going to do is we are going to set up our video capture. So I opening it up, we do a plus here. We do video capture because uh, it is a video capture card. You can rename it whatever you'd like. I'm going to keep the default name and then you can make it visible as well. When you're good to go, press OK. So I can already see my laptop screen. You can see the mirror box uh, capture card right there. There are a whole bunch of settings that you can play around with. Since my setup is not elaborate, um, I'm going to keep it simple and keep the default settings. So OBS Studio offers a lot of different features. Uh, let me show you guys. Where is the settings? So if you wanted to record, just press start recording, stop recording. You can do streaming as well. If you go into the settings, video, so I have the resolution 60 FPS, so 1080p is the max, I think, for the for this device. And then you can go into output, which I have it saved straight to my SSD for easy access. Audio, if you want to play around with that. Video settings, so the type of, uh, you know, hotkeys. It can be very, very useful if you know what you, if you want to set it up. Uh, in the general settings. And then if you're streaming, you can uh, link your OBS Studio to your Twitch account. So you can just do, uh, let's do another recording here. I can just do start recording and then stop recording. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, one thing I did notice, like I said earlier, I would not leave it plugged in uh, like for hours and hours. Uh, when you're done, I would take it out because I noticed that the box does get um, a little bit warm. So I mean, so far so good, but uh, me, I'm not a heavy, I don't record much. I don't record for like uh, 10 hours straight or something like that. I just keep it pretty short. Maximum maybe I record is maybe an hour-ish. So I opened up my SSD. So here are these uh, files that we recorded earlier, just briefly. So it's easy access. Really like this uh, device. So I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.